integrate the function 2x upon 1 plus x square. So we can write integral 2x upon 1 plus x square dx. We can observe that the denominator 1 plus x square differentiation you will get 2x which is in the numerator. So denominator here, numerator here. So let us use the method of substitution. Put 1 plus x square is equal to t. And so now differentiating, differentiating with respect to 2x on both the sets will have 0 plus 2x is equal to dt by dx or this can also be written 2x into dx is equal to dx dt. Now let us substitute in integral. We have integral 2x dx 2x dx upon 1 plus x square right. So here 2x dx will be replaced as a dt. So we'll, our integral will become so this is dt in the numerator and 1 plus x square as here you can see that 1 plus x square is t. So we can write 1 upon t. So now the integral change it to in terms of t 1 upon t dt. We know that integration 1 upon x log 1 upon x dx is log x plus c. So we can write here log t plus c and now again replacing what is c t here t is nothing but 1 plus x square so we can write 1 plus x square plus c to the base e so log of 1 plus x square plus c is the answer okay integrate the function log x whole square upon x so we can write integral log x whole square upon x dx. We can see that log x differentiation is 1 upon x. Log x is in the numerator and 1 upon x is in the like it's like 1 upon x is the x is in the denominator we can say. So let us substitute put log x is equal to t and then differentiating with respect to 2x we will get 1 upon x is equal to dt by dx or we can write 1 upon x dx is equal to dt. So our question integral log x whole square we can write into 1 upon x dx as 1 upon x dx will become dt and log x whole square is t square. So we can write integration t square into dt. By using the integration formula, we can use exponent formula, we can write integral t square is nothing but t to the power of 2 plus 1, 3 divided by 3 plus some constant. Now replacing t, t is nothing but log x, so we can write log x whole power 3 upon 3 plus c is the answer. Integrate the function 1 upon x plus x log x. So we can add 1 upon x plus x log x dx. Or we can also write 1 upon x taken common 1 plus log x. So here it's very clear that 1 plus log x differentiation will be 1 upon x. So 1, up, 1 plus log x if we can substitute as a t then 1 upon x dx will be dt. So let us put by using substitution method put 1 plus log x is equal to t. So we have 0 plus 1 upon x is equal to dt by dx or we can also write 1 upon x dx is equal to dt. So let us substitute here integral 1 by 1 plus log x into 1 upon x dx. 
So this 1 upon x dx, we can take it as dt. And 1 plus log x, this 1 plus log x can be considered as a t. So let us write integral 1 by t, 1 upon x dx is dt. So we know integration of 1 upon x is log x. So we can write here log of mod t plus c is the answer. And we can substitute back t is equal to log of 1 plus log x plus c is the answer. Okay. Integrate the function sin x into sin of cos x. Let's write integral sin x into sin of cos x dx. And we know that cos x differentiation is minus sin x. So let us put put cos x is equal to t so that differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. We can add dx is equal to dt. So that our integral sin x dx will be minus dt. And if we have sin cos x means sin into t. So minus sin t dt. Uh, let me read it again. So integral sin of cos x into sin x dx. So sin x dx will be minus dt. Sin x dx is equal to minus dt. We can use it here. And cos x is equal to, we can use cos x is equal to t. So our integral will become sin t, sin x dx is minus dt. So let me write minus here. So what is integration of sin minus cos? We can write minus of minus cos t plus c, that is cos t plus integral constant c. Or we can substitute back t is equal to cos x. So cos of cos x plus c is the answer. Integrate sin of ax plus b into cos of ax plus b. So we can add integral sin of ax plus b into cos of ax plus b dx. So here we can observe very clear that sin x differentiation is cos x. So we can substitute sin of this function as a t. So let us put sin of ax plus b is equal to t. Now differentiating with respect to 2x, we have sin differentiation cos of ax plus b by using the chain rule differentiation of ax plus b is a is equal to dt by dx or we can add a cos of ax plus b into dx is equal to dt or cos of ax plus b dx is equal to dt upon a. So let us use here integral our integral sin of ax plus b into cos of ax plus b dx. So we have cos of ax plus b dx is equal to dt upon a. We can substitute here. And sin of ax plus b is equal to t. So we can add integral t into dt upon a. 1 upon a is constant. Integral of t dt. That is 1 upon a into integration of t is t square by 2 plus integral constant. So 1 by 2a t square. Let us substitute back t is nothing but sin of ax plus b. Sin of ax plus b whole square plus c. Or we can also write 1 by 2a sin square of ax plus b plus c is the answer. Okay. Integrate the function root of ax plus b. So you can write integral 
square root of ax plus b dx. We can write it as ax plus b whole to the power 1 by 2 dx. Put ax plus b is equal to t so that differentiating with respect to 2x we will be getting a dx is equal to dt or we can add dx is equal to 1 upon a dt. Let us use in place of dx as 1 upon a dt and ax plus b and here ax plus b we can write as a t. So integral t to the power 1 by 2 dx is nothing but 1 upon a into dt or this can also be written 1 upon a a is a constant 1 upon a into integral t to the power 1 by 2 dt and by using the formula integral x power n we can add t to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c so that is 1 by a into 2 upon 3 t to the power of 3 by 2 plus integral constant c now let us substitute back what is the value of t ax plus b so we can write 2 upon 3a into ax plus b whole to the power of 3 by 2 plus integral constant c is the answer okay integrate the function x root of x plus 2 so we can add integral x root of x plus 2 dx so let us do by substitution method put x plus 2 is equal to t so differentiating with respect to 2x we'll get dx is equal to dt so let us substitute in place of dx as dt and x is equal to here you can write x is equal to t minus 2 so wherever x is there you can write t minus 2 so integral t minus 2 into root of x plus 2 is t dt so this can be simplified t root t minus 2 root t of dt or this can also be simplified t to the power of 3 by 2 minus 2 into t to the power of 1 by 2 dt integrating you can get t to the power of 3 by 2 dt minus 2 times of integral t to the power of 1 by 2 dt by using the formula integral of x power n so we'll get t to the power of 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 3 by 2 plus 1 minus 2 times of t to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c so here we can add 2 upon 5 t to the power of 5 by 2 minus 2 into 2 upon 3 t to the power of 3 by 2 plus c now we can also write 2 by 5 substituting back t is nothing but x plus 2 so x plus 2 whole power 5 by 2 minus 4 by 3 times of x plus 2 whole to the power of 3 by 2 plus c is the answer integrate the function x root of 1 plus 2x square so you can get integral x root of 1 plus 2x square dx so here if you consider x square differentiation is x dx so let us put 1 plus 2x square is equal to t so that differentiating with respect to 2x we'll have 2 into 2x dx is equal to dt or we can write 4x dx is equal to dt or we can also write x dx is equal to dt divided by 4 so here x into 
dx we can replace it as dt upon 4 and 1 plus 2x square we can replace it as t so our integral will become integral root of t into dt divided by 4 or 1 by 4 integral t to the power of 1 by 2 dt which is 1 by 4 t to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 that is 1 by 4 into 2 by 3 t to the power of 3 by 2 plus integral constant so t we can replace it as 1 plus 2x square whole to the power 3 by 2 that is 1 by 6 times 1 plus 2x square whole power 3 by 2 plus c is the answer integrate the function 4x plus 2 times root of x square plus x plus 1 so we can add integral 4x plus 2 of root of x square plus x plus 1 dx so this we can also write it as by taking 2 common 2x plus 1 into root of x square plus x plus 1 dx and it's very clear that x square plus x plus 1 differentiation will be 2x plus 1 so let us substitute x square plus put x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t then differentiating with respect to 2x we'll get 2x plus 1 of dx is equal to dt so here we got 2x plus 1 times dx let us substitute as dt and x square plus x plus 1 as a t so we can write the integral as integral to root t into dt or we can also write 2 times integral t to the power of 1 by 2 dt that is 2 times t to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c by using integral x power n formula so we can write 2 into 2 by 3 t to the power of 3 by 2 plus c or 4 by 3 times of let us substitute t value that is x square plus x plus 1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 plus integral constant c is the answer integrate the function 1 upon x minus root x so we can write integral 1 by x minus root x dx so here this we can simplify it as 1 upon x can be written as root x whole square minus root x dx so that i can take out 1 by root x common in the denominator so i can add root x minus 1 dx let us substitute put root x minus 1 is equal to t so differentiating with respect to x so we'll have root x differentiation is 1 by 2 into x to the power of minus 1 by 2 dx is equal to dt that is 1 by 2 root x dx is equal to dt or 1 by root x dx is equal to 2 times of dt so we can replace 1 by root x dx as dt 2 dt and root of x minus root x minus 1 we can write it as t so our integral will become integral 1 by t into 2 dt our two times of integration 1 by t is log t plus integral constant c so we can replace it back t is equal to root x minus 1 2 log mod of root x minus 1 to get the positive value plus c so the answer is 2 log mod of x root x minus 1 plus c integrate the function x upon root of x plus 4 where x is positive so we can write integral x upon x plus 4 the root dx 
So let us substitute x plus 4 is equal to t square so that x is equal to t square minus 4 and differentiating with respect to 2x we have dx is equal to 2t into dt and hence we can write here integral dx is 2t dt so we can write dx as 2t dt and x is equal to t square minus 4 so we can write here t square minus 4 divided by root of x plus 4 will be t and dx is 2t dt so we may cancel here t and t so we can rewrite integral 2 times of t square minus 4 into dt integrating we'll have 2 into 2 to the power of are 2 times of t to 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3 minus 40 plus c or we can write 2 times of t is nothing but t cube is nothing but we can write root of x plus 4 whole power 3 divided by 3 minus 4 times of root of x plus 4 plus tx or we can write here 2 times root of x plus 4 if it is taken common so we'll have root of x plus 4 whole square that is x plus 4 divided by 3 minus 4 plus c or we can also write 2 times root of x plus 4 x plus 4 minus 12 divided by 3 plus c or we can get 2 by 3 times root of x plus 4 into x minus 8 plus c is the answer integrate the function x power 3 minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 into x power 5 so we can write integral x power 3 minus 1 to the power of 1 by 3 into x power 5 dx. So we can write it as integral x power 3 minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 into x power 5 we can write x power 3 into x square dx. Now let us put x power 3 minus 1 is equal to t. So which implies 3x square dx is equal to dt or here x power 3 will be t plus 1 and here x square dx we can write it as 1 upon 3 dt so that x square dx will be 1 upon 3 dt and x power 3 we can write it as t plus 1 and x cube minus 1 we can write it as t so our integral we can write it as t to the power of 1 by 3 into x power 3 is t plus 1 into x square dx is 1 by 3 dt so we can write it as 1 by 3 times t to the power of 1 by 3 into 1 that is 4 by 3 plus t power 1 by 3 whole dt on simplifying 1 by 3 integrating t to the power of 4 by 3 plus 1 that is 7 by 3 divided by 7 by 3 plus t to the power of t to the power of 1 by 3 plus 1 that is 4 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 plus integral constant c so here we can add 3 by 3 times of t power 7 by 3 divided by 7 plus t power 4 by 3 divided by 4 plus integral constant so we can add t let us replace t as x power 3 minus 1 so x power 3 minus 1 to the power of 7 by 3 divided by 7 plus x power 3 minus 1 to the power of 4 by 3 divided by 4 plus c is the answer integrate the function x square upon 2 plus 3 x power 3 whole power 3 so we can get x square divided by 
2 plus 3 x power 3 whole power 3 dx. Let us substitute here 2 plus 3 x power 3 is equal to t on differentiating with respect to x we have 9x square dx is equal to dt or we can write x square dx is equal to 1 by 9 dt so that we can replace x square dx as x square dx as 1 by 9 dt and 2 plus 3x cube as a t so we can write the integral as integral 1 by 9 times 1 upon t power 3 dt that is 1 by 9 integral t to the power of minus 3 dt that is 1 by 9 times t to the power of minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 plus integral constant that is 1 by 9 t to the power of minus 2 divided by minus 2 plus c so that we can write minus 1 by 18 times 1 by t square plus c let us substitute t back again so minus 1 by 18 times 2 plus 3x cube whole square plus integral constant c is the answer integrate the function 1 upon x times of log x whole power m where x is positive and m is not equal to 1 so we can write integral 1 upon x into log x whole power m dx let us substitute log x is equal to t put log x is equal to t so the differentiating with respect to x we have 1 upon x dx is equal to dt so here we can write 1 upon x dx as dt and log x is equal to t so we can write integral 1 by t power m into dt that is integral t to the power of minus m dt so we can integrate it t to the power of minus m plus 1 divided by minus m plus 1 plus integral constant c so let us substitute back t is equal to log x so we can write log x to the power of 1 minus m divided by 1 minus m plus c is the answer integrate the function x upon 9 minus 4x square we can write x upon integral 9 minus 4x square dx so here let us substitute put 9 minus 4x square is equal to t so we have minus 8x dx is equal to dt or we can write x dx is equal to minus 1 by 8 dt so we can substitute here x dx as minus 1 by 8 dt and 9 minus 4x square as a t so our integral will can be written as 1 upon t into minus 1 upon 8 dt or we can also write it as minus 1 by t integral 1 by t dt that is minus 1 by 8 integration of 1 upon t is log t plus c so minus 1 by 8 log of let us substitute back t is equal to 9 minus 4x square plus c so minus 1 by 8 log of 9 minus 4x square plus c is the answer integrate the function e power 2x plus 3 can it e to the power 2x plus 3 dx so let us substitute 2x plus 3 is equal to t so differentiating with respect to 2x we have 2 dx is equal to dt or dx is equal to 1 upon 2 dt so we can write dx is 1 upon dt and 2x plus 3 as a t so we can write the integral as integral 
e to the power t dx is dt upon 2 or 1 by 2 integral e to the power t into dt which is 1 by 2 e to the power t plus integral constant c now let us substitute back e to the power of t is nothing but 2x plus 3 so e power 2x plus 3 upon 2 plus c is the answer and also we can make a note we can just make a note integral e to the power ax plus b dx is equal to e to the power of ax plus b upon the coefficient of x that is a plus c okay integrate the function x upon e power x square you can write integral x upon e to the power x square dx we know differentiation of x square is 2x so let us substitute x square in e power x square is x square is equal to t put x square is equal to t so differentiating with respect to 2x we have 2x dx is equal to dt so that we can write x dx is equal to 1 upon 2 dt so let us replace here integral 1 upon e power t into x dx is nothing but 1 by 2 dt or we can write 1 by 2 e to the power of minus t dt so we have studied that integral e to the power of ax plus b dx is equal to e power ax plus b upon coefficient of x plus c so we can write 1 by 2 into e to the power of minus t divided by coefficient of x is t is minus 1 so minus 1 plus integral constant or minus 1 by 2 e to the power minus x square plus integral constant or we can write minus 1 by 2 e power x square plus c is the answer integrate the function e to the power tan inverse x upon 1 plus x square so we can write integral e to the power tan inverse x upon 1 plus x square dx so put tan inverse x is equal to t so differentiating with respect to 2x we have 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt so we can write integral e to the power t into dt integration of e power t is e power t plus c so we can write e to the power t is nothing but tan inverse x plus c is the answer integrate the function e power 2x minus 1 upon e power 2x plus 1 so we can write integral e to the power 2x minus 1 upon e to the power 2x plus 1 dx we can write here e power 2x as e power x into e power x minus 1 divided by here also e power x into e power x plus 1 so if consider e power x is taken common so we can write e power x minus 1 by e power x divided by e power x common in the denominator also e power x plus 1 by e power x dx so here e power x e power x gets cancelled so this can also be written as integral e to the power of x minus e to the power minus x upon e to the power of x plus e to the power minus x dx and clearly we can see that the denominator differentiation will be the numerator that is if you substitute put e power x plus e power minus x is equal to t and differentiating with respect to 2x we have e power x minus e to the power minus x of dx is equal to dt so that we can write the integral as e power x minus e power minus x dx is dt and here it is 1 upon t so 1 upon t is log mod t plus c so we can substitute t is equal to e power x plus e power minus x plus c is the answer
integrate the function e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 2x upon e power 2x plus e power minus 2x. So we can write e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 2x upon e to the power 2x plus e to the power minus 2x dx. So here if we substitute e power 2x plus e power minus 2x is equal to t and differentiating with respect to 2x e power 2x differentiation is 2 into e to the power 2x and e to the power of minus 2x differentiation is minus 2 into e to the power minus 2x whole dx is equal to dt or we can also write 2 times of e power 2x minus e power minus 2x of dx is dt or e to the power 2x minus e to the power minus 2x of dx is 1 upon 2 dt. So our integral can be written as integral e power 2x minus e power minus 2x is 1 by 2 dt. So the 1 by 2 into 1 by t dt. So 1 by 2 into log of mod t plus c. That is 1 by 2 log substitute back t is nothing but e to the power 2x plus e to the power minus 2x plus c will be the answer. Integrate the function tan square of 2x minus 3. So we can write integral tan square of 2x minus 3 dx. So let us substitute 2x minus 3 is equal to t. So differentiating with respect to 2x, we have 2 dx is equal to dt. Our dx is equal to 1 by 2 dt. So that our integral can be written as integral 1 by 2 tan square t dt. And we know that second square t minus tan square t is equal to 1. So tan square t is equal to second square t minus 1. So we can write 1 by 2 second square t minus 1 of dt. So integral integration of second square t is tan t minus integration of 1 dt is t plus c that is 1 by 2 times tan of substituting back t is equal to 2x minus 3 minus of 2x minus 3 plus c. So we can write 1 by 2 tan of 2x minus 3 minus of 2x minus 3 upon 2 plus c is the answer. Or this can also be written 1 by 2 tan of 2x minus 3 minus 2x upon 2 is x plus 3 by 2 plus c. Or even consider c1 is constant here. 1 by 2 tan of 2x minus 3 minus x 3 upon 2 plus c1 is another constant. Take it as plus c. Okay. Integrate the function secant square of 7 minus 4x. So integral secant square of 7 minus 4x dx. So let us substitute or put 7 minus 4x is equal to t. So differentiating with respect to 2x, we have minus 4 dx is equal to dt or dx is equal to minus 1 upon 4 dt. So our integral we can write integral of second square t into minus 1 by 4 dt. So we can simplify here minus 1 by 4 integral second square t dt that is minus 1 by 4 integral of second square is tan t. So tan t plus c that is minus 1 by 4 of 
tan of t value is nothing but 7 minus 4x plus c so minus 1 upon 4 tan of 7 minus 4x plus c is the answer integrate the function sin inverse x upon root of 1 minus x square so we can write integral sin inverse x upon root of 1 minus x square dx and it's very clear that differentiation of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square so let us substitute or put sin inverse x is equal to t so differentiating with respect to 2x we will get 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to dt so we can write here integral of t into dt that is t square upon 2 plus c substitute back t is equal to sin inverse x so sin inverse x whole square upon 2 plus c is the answer okay integrate the function 2 cos x minus 3 sin x upon 6 cos x plus 4 sin x you can write integral 2 cos x minus 3 sin x upon 6 cos x plus 4 sin x dx we can simplify the denominator 2 cos x minus 3 sin x upon taking 2 common we can add 3 cos x plus 2 sin x and it's very clear that the numerator 3 cos x plus 2 sin x differentiation will be the numerator 2 cos x minus 3 sin x so let us put 3 cos x plus 2 sin x is equal to t differentiating with respect to 2x we will get minus 3 sin x plus 2 cos x dx is equal to dt so we can write here integral 2 cos x minus 3 sin x dx is dt and 1 upon 2 times of t dt so we can write 1 by 2 integral of 1 upon t is log t log mod t plus c so we can write 1 by 2 log mod of t is nothing but 3 cos x plus 2 sin x plus some constant c okay integrate the function 1 upon cos square x of 1 minus tan x whole square can it integral 1 upon cos square x into 1 minus tan x whole square dx or uh, this can also be written secant square x upon 1 minus tan x whole square dx we know differentiation of tan is secant square x so let us substitute put 1 minus tan x is equal to t so we have minus secant square x dx is equal to dt or we can add secant square x dx is equal to minus dt so our integral we can write it as secant square x dx is minus dt so minus dt upon 1 minus that is t square so minus t to the integral t to the power minus 2 dt by using the formal integration of x power n so we can add minus t to the power of minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c so we can add minus t to the power of minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 upon minus 1 plus c or we can add 1 by t plus c substitute back t is equal to 1 minus tan x so we can add 1 by 1 minus tan x plus integral constant c is the answer integrate the function cos root x upon root x so we can write cos root x upon 
root x dx and we know that differentiation of d by dx of root x is 1 upon 2 root x so let us consider i uh, have put root x is equal to t which implies on differentiating we have 1 by 2 root x dx is equal to dt or 1 upon root x dx will be 2 times of dt so our integral can be taken as so 1 upon root x dx can be taken as 2 dt and cos root x is cos t so we can write cos integral cos t and here dx upon root x is 2 dt so we can write 2 dt or we can write 2 times integral cos t dt integration of cos t is sin t so 2 times sin t plus integral constant c so we can replace t as root x so 2 sin root x plus c is the answer integrate the function root of sin 2x into cos 2x so we can write integral root of sin 2x into cos 2x dx and we know the differentiation of sin x is cos x so here let us substitute or put sin 2x is equal to t on differentiating with respect to x on both the sides differentiation of sin is cos 2x and again by chain rule 2x differentiation is 2 is equal to or dx is equal to dt or we can write cos 2x dx is equal to 1 upon 2 dt so that we can replace cos 2x dx is equal to 1 upon t 1 upon 2 dt and sin 2x as a t so our integral can be taken as integration root t into 1 by 2 dt or we can write 1 by 1 by 2 integral root t dt that is 1 by 2 into integration of root 2 is t to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 that is 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 into t we can replace it as sin 2x so sin 2x whole to the power 3 by 2 plus integral constant c here so we can write 1 by 3 sin 2x whole to the power 3 by 2 plus integral constant c is the answer integrate the function cos x upon root of 1 plus sin x we can write integral cos x upon root of 1 plus sin x dx so that we know the differentiation of sin is cos so let us put 1 plus sin x is equal to t so on differentiating with respect to 2x we have cos x dx is equal to dt so we got the numerator cos x dx is dt so we can replace it and 1 plus sin x as a t so our integral can be taken as integral 1 upon root t into dt or we can write integral t to the power of minus 1 by 2 dt and by using the formula integration of x power n is equal to x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c so we can write integral t power minus 1 by 2 is equal to t power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c or we can write t to the power of 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 plus c or 2 times of t power 1 by 2 we can write 1 plus sin x whole power 1 by 2 plus c or 2 root of 1 plus sin x plus c is the answer okay integrate the function cot x into log of sin x integral cot x into log of sin x dx and here let us substitute put log of sin x is equal to t 
so differentiating with respect to 2x we have differentiation of log is 1 upon so 1 upon sin x into differentiation of sin x is cos x by chain rule so dx is equal to dt that is cot x dx is equal to dt so here we can replace cot x dx as dt and log of sin x as a t so our integral can be taken as we can write the integral t into dt that is t square upon 2 plus c let us replace t as log of sin x so log of sin x whole square divided by 2 plus c is the answer integrate the function sin x upon 1 plus cos x we can write integral sin x upon 1 plus cos x dx we know that differentiation of cos x is minus sin x so let us put here 1 plus cos x is equal to t differentiating with respect to 2 x we have minus sin x dx is equal to dt or we can add sin x dx is equal to minus dt so that integral we can write integral here sin x dx is minus dt upon 1 plus cos x is t so minus 1 by t integral dt that is minus log of t mod t plus c or we can write minus log mod of t is nothing but 1 plus cos x we can write plus c this is the answer integrate the function sin x upon 1 plus cos x whole square we can write integral sin x upon 1 plus cos x whole square dx we know the differentiation of cos x is negative sin x so let us substitute here put 1 plus cos x is equal to t so that minus sin x dx is equal to dt or we can write sin x dx is equal to minus dt so we can write the integral here sin x dx will be minus dt and 1 plus cos x is equal to t so we can write here minus minus 1 by t square into dt which is equal to minus integral t to the power of minus 2 dt that is minus t to the power of minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c that is minus t to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c that is 1 upon t plus c. substituting back t is equal to 1 plus cos x so we can add 1 by 1 plus cos x plus integral constant c is the answer integral 1 upon 1 plus cortex dx so we can simplify as 1 upon 1 plus cortex we can write cos x upon sin x dx or this can also be written sin x upon sin x plus cos x dx and here let just let us multiply and divide with 2 so we'll be getting 1 by 2 times integral of 2 sin x we can write it as sin x plus sin x upon sin x plus cos x dx and now 1 by 2 integral adding and subtracting cos x sin x plus cos x plus sin x minus cos x upon sin x plus cos x dx 
and this can be simplified 1 by 2 times integral sin x plus cos x upon sin x plus cos x taken as one term dx and again here next one plus integral sin x minus cos x upon sin x plus cos x dx is a second integral in the first integral both sin x plus cos x sin x plus cos x gets cancelled and it's a 1 dx so we can write in 1 by 2 integration of 1 dx and second one 1 by 2 times and here in this case we can just consider put sin x plus cos x is equal to t so we'll be getting cos x minus sin x dx is equal to dt or negative of sin x minus cos x dx is equal to dt so we can write here minus dt upon sin x plus cos x is t so after simplifying 1 by 2 integration of 1 dx is x and here it is 1 by 2 integration of 1 by t is log t and it's a minus plus integral constant c so we can write x by 2 minus 1 by 2 log substituting back t is equal to sin x plus cos x plus c is the answer integrate the function integral 1 upon 1 minus tan x dx so we can write integral 1 upon 1 minus sin x by cos x dx or this can be simplified as cos x upon cos x minus sin x dx and here let us multiply and divide with 2 so you can write 1 by 2 times of integral cos x plus cos x upon cos x minus sin x dx or we can simplify it as 1 by 2 times integral adding and subtracting sin x cos x minus sin x plus cos x plus sin x upon cos x minus sin x dx so here we can separate integral 1 by 2 1 by 2 integral of cos x minus sin x upon cos x minus sin x dx plus integral 1 by 2 times cos x plus sin x upon cos x minus sin x dx which is equal to 1 by 2 times of here cos x minus sin x and cos x minus sin x both same gets cancelled so integral of 1 dx we can write integral of 1 dx plus 1 by 2 times and here we can substitute put cos x minus sin x is equal to t so we have minus sin x minus cos x of dx is equal to dt or we can also write sin x plus cos x of dx is equal to minus dt so here we can write minus dt upon t integral so which on simplifying you will be getting 1 by 2 integration of 1 dx is x and here it is minus so minus 1 by 2 log t plus integral constant c so that is x by 2 minus 1 by 2 log mod of cos x minus sin x plus integral constant c is the answer so we can write x, x upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 log of cos x minus sin x plus c will be the answer okay integrate the function root of tan x upon sin x into cos x and here we know that differentiation of tan x is secant square x so here in the denominator let us multiply and divide with cos x so sin x upon cos x into cos square x dx 
so that integral root of tan x into 1 upon cos, cos square we can write it as secant square x divided by sin x upon cos x will be tan x so we can write this as tan x and here 1 by cos square is secant square x we wrote dx now let us substitute put tan x is equal to t on differentiating with respect to x we have secant square x dx is equal to dt so we'll be getting integral root t upon t into dt that is integral 1 by root t dt or we can also write t to the power minus 1 by 2 dt that is t to the power of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c that is t to the power of 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 plus c or we can write 2 times root t root t is nothing but root of tan x plus c will be the answer 2 root of tan x plus integral constant c is the answer integrate the function 1 plus log x whole square upon x so we can write integral 1 plus log x whole square upon x dx so let us substitute put 1 plus log x is equal to t so that differentiating you will get 1 upon x dx is equal to dt so we can write integral t square into dt integration of t square is t power 3 divided by 3 plus integral constant c so here we can write t is nothing but replacing 1 plus log x whole power 3 divided by 3 plus c is the answer integrate the function x plus 1 into x plus log x whole square upon x we can write integral x plus 1 times x plus log x whole square upon x dx so that we can simplify here x plus 1 upon x into x plus log x whole square dx so this can also be written as 1 plus 1 upon x into x plus log x whole square dx so clearly here we can see that d by dx of x plus log x is 1 plus 1 upon x so let us substitute here put x plus log x is equal to t and on differentiating with respect to 2 x so we have 1 plus 1 upon x dx is equal to dt so that 1 plus 1 upon x dx will be dt so integral x plus log x that is t square into dt that is t power 3 divided by 3 plus integral constant c let us substitute back t is equal to x plus log x whole power 3 divided by 3 plus c is the answer integrate the function integral x power 3 sine of tan inverse x power 4 upon 1 plus x power 8 dx and we know that differentiation d by dx of tan inverse x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square so here let us substitute put 
tan inverse x power 4 is equal to t so on differentiating with respect to 2 x we have 1 by 1 plus x power 4 whole square into differentiation of x power 4 is 4 x power 3 dx is equal to dt or we can write x power 3 divided by 1 plus x power 8 dx is equal to 1 upon 4 dt so that we can substitute here x power 3 1 upon x power 8 dx is equal to 1 upon 4 dt so our integral can be taken as integral sin t into this is 1 by 4 dt that is 1 upon 4 integral of sin t dt so integration of sin t is minus cos t plus integral constant c so we can write minus cos t upon 4 plus c substituting back t is equal to tan inverse of x power 4 so minus cos of tan inverse of x power 4 plus c will be the answer divided by 4 sorry 1 upon 4 cos of tan inverse of x power 4 plus c will be the answer okay integral 10 x power 9 plus 10 power x log 10 to the base e upon upon x power 10 plus 10 power x dx is equal to so here let us substitute here put x power 10 plus 10 power x is equal to t so differentiating with respect to 2 x we have 10 into x to the power of 10 minus 1 that is 9 plus differentiation of a power x is a power x that is 10 power x into log a log 10 to the base e dx is equal to dt so we got the numerator 10 x power 9 plus 10 up 10 power x into log 10 dx is equal to dt so our integral can be written as dt upon t which is equal to log t plus c so we can write log or t is nothing but x power 10 plus 10 power x 10 power x plus c so log of 10 power x plus x power 10 which is option D. So option D is the answer. Integral dx upon sin square x into cos square x or this can also be written integral 1 upon sin square x into cos square x dx and numerator 1 can be written as sin square x plus cos square x upon sin square x into cos square x dx on simplifying you will get integral sin square x upon sin square x into cos square x dx plus integral again cos square x upon sin square x into cos square x dx so here sin square x sin square x gets cancelled in the first term and in the second term cos square x cos square x gets cancelled so we can simplify and write integral 1 upon cos square is secant square x dx and integral 1 upon sin square is cosecant square x dx and we know that integration of secant square x tan x and integration of cosecant square is minus cot x plus c so tan x minus cot x plus c which is option b so option b is the answer